So today I'm going to be showing you how to make some quinoa palau. So this palau is literally just um, <clears throat> uh, what you'd expect. So palau is usually just like rice and some sort of dry sort of gravy that's sort of layered with it, just to sort of mix it up a bit. So the only difference with this one is we're swapping, swapping out rice for quinoa, just to make something a bit more unique, I suppose. Um, and that is actually all there is to it. So the thing we're putting with it is going to be like a uh, spinach and bean sort of gravy that goes with it. Uh, this only makes a small amount, probably enough to serve about two people, but you can just um, multiply the recipe by however many you need. All right, so that's all there is to it. So let's get started. So now add in two cups of water. All right. So what you need to do now is cook this the same way you cook rice. So you keep it on the high heat until it boils. Okay, so as you can see, that's boiling now. So, um, like I said, as with rice, cover it, turn it down to a low heat, and just let it cook for about 15 minutes, and all the water should soak into the quinoa, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so now to the next stage. Take a pan here, put it on a medium heat, and add a quarter of a cup of oil. Any oil is fine, I'm using rice bran oil. And half a teaspoon each of, got some fennel seeds here. And some cumin seeds. And some black mustard seeds. Let this heat up for about a minute until these seeds start popping. Okay, that's popping, so add in the uh, onion. That's um, one large onion, finely chopped. And one dried red chilli. Do a bit of a stir. Okay, keep this cooking until the onions soften up a bit. It'll probably take you like five minutes or so. Okay, that's uh, softened up. There's about five minutes on that. So turn the heat down to low and add in the uh, three grated cloves of garlic. Okay, let that heat up for about a minute. Okay, it's about a minute on that. So now add in the uh, spinach. So it's about 100 grams of spinach. Okay, put a bit of salt over that. So you want to go about half a teaspoon of salt. All right, mix this all up. All right, cover this and let this cook for about three to five minutes. Uh, so that's the quinoa done. So you can see here, well, the water's gone. It's all done, ready to go. So just take that off the heat and just leave it to the side for now. It's been a few minutes on that. It's really up to you how long you cook the spinach for, it depends how you like to eat your spinach. Um, so I prefer it to be not too wilted, so I've done about three minutes on that. So that's about that. So now put in the beans. So one can of beans, I'm using some mixed beans. Uh, any sort of bean is pretty much the same thing with this. Doesn't really make a difference. Um, Add to that about half a lemon worth of juice. Okay. Just a bit of black pepper. Mix this through. Okay, 
basically it. So what you do now is just take off the heat and combine it with the um, quinoa. Okay, so I've got a sort of like serving bowl here. So I'm just going to put some quinoa in. Pretty much like half of it. And half the bean mixture. Mixing, all right. Let's do that quinoa. So what we're sort of doing here is just sort of layering things up. It's one way to serve any sort of like palau type dish. But it's what you do is when you scoop into it, you scoop straight down and you just get all the sort of layers, everything sort of mixed together. That's about it. Okay, so there is the quinoa palau finished up. So you can see here um, from that bowl, I just sort of scooped straight down. So you get the layers of bean and quinoa and bean and quinoa. So it just uh, makes it look nice when you serve it. Because I've used the tricolor quinoa here, so that's um, the white, the red and the black it makes the dish look even more sort of like stand out and appealing. So uh, there's nothing more to it than that. If you don't like the seasoning when you've made it, add a bit more salt, a bit more pepper, whatever you need to do, possibly even a bit more lemon juice. It depends how you like to have stuff. But the flavors I put it with pretty much should do the job. It's a nice sort of light sort of dish and that's about all there is to it. So enjoy.